Hi guys and welcome to Tech Based. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install the Google Play Store on any Windows 11 version. I've received a lot of questions regarding the Google Play Store and if you can install it on the main release, for example, of Windows 11, because as you may know, the Android app support is officially available for the beta and the dev channel of the Insider program from Windows 11. But I can assure you that you can also install the Google Play Store on the main release of Windows 11. I'm going to demonstrate it to you in this video. Video, and I'm going to show you a method that I've used before, but that method is a bit changed now and it is more effective and efficient. But first of all, let me show you the version which I'm on now. I'm on the version 21H2, of course, the build 22,000.376, which is the main release of Windows 11. I'm also going into the settings app to show you into the Windows Insider program that I am not enrolled in any channel of the Windows Insider program and I am on the main release of Windows 11. Of course, what I recommend you first is to make sure that you have your system updated to the latest version. Also make sure to have the Microsoft Store updated to the latest version because uh, there are some packages that we're going to need to install the Google Play Store and if they're not up to date you could receive some errors. So if you receive errors while trying to install and do this do this process don't forget that you need to have your Windows 11 updated and also the Microsoft Store up to date. We're going to use yet again the repository that is provided by LS Post and basically here we have all the packages needed and all the integrations already done in order to be able to easily install the Google Play Store on any Windows 11 version. Of course, you're going to have this link down below in the article. And here you have also tutorials, questions and stuff like that. But I'm going to show you step by step what you need to do. Of course, a big shout out to LS Post because he is doing a great job. If you haven't figured it out yet, you also need a GitHub account. I recommend you use a GitHub account that was created for some time because I uh, saw some people complaining that they created a new GitHub account and while during this process their GitHub account got banned. So make sure to use an account that has some history to it and uh, it is not a newly created account because you can be mistaken as a spam account or something like that. Now let's begin with the process. First of all, I strongly recommend you to star this GitHub repository and then we're going to click on fork to copy this repository into our GitHub account and from there we're going to move on. So let's click on fork and as you can see, we now successfully forked the GitHub repository. What you need to do now is to go into actions, then go and click on Majisk, click on run workflow in the right side, make sure to leave the branch as main, you don't need to change this download link. Now pay attention, in here you're going to have to select the variant of G apps of Google apps that you want to be installed. I always worked with the Pico variant, so I recommend you install this as well. Just type in here Pico to select it and root solution, you have two options, Majisk or none. If you're not using Majisk or if you're not into rooting or something like that, just type in here none and uh, the final result will be a little bit smaller and of course it will install faster. So after you've done this, as I've said, branch main and select the variant of Google Apps that you want, you can easily experiment with other variants and the root solution in my case it is none but you can also type in here Majisk if you want. Then click on run workflow and you're going to have to wait for this workflow to run. It's going to take up to 5-10 minutes so be a bit patient and I'm going to show you what I need to do after the workflow run was successful. After the workflow run is successful, click on Majisk and then scroll down into the artifacts section and download the version for your operating system. So for example, ARM64 or X64. For this example, I'm going to download X64. Just click on it and the download process will start. Make sure to have it 7-zip or WormR installed because we're going to need to unzip or extract this archive after it is downloaded. After the archive is successfully downloaded, make sure to extract it. I'm just going to click on show more options and then extract to. Now after you extracted the archive, you'll need to go into settings. Just type in the search box settings or press the Windows, the keyboard combination Windows plus I and then type in here developer and click on developer settings because we're going to need to enable the developer mode. Just turn it on and then click on yes. Now go into the extracted folder and locate the file and install which is the Windows PowerShell script. Right click on it and then click on run with PowerShell. On user account control click on yes and the installation process will begin. 
it's gonna end really really fast as you saw now what i recommend you to do is to go and search for the windows subsystem for android settings click on it and then enable the developer mode and then click on manage developer settings you can uncheck share my diagnostic data and then click on continue wait for the windows subsystem for android to open up make sure to allow the access into the windows defender firewall because the windows defender firewall sometimes likes to block certain things that are completely safe after the windows subsystem system for Android opened up, you can simply just exit out from here. You can also exit from the Windows system for Android settings. And now if you search for the Play Store into search, you're going to see that you have the Google Play Store successfully installed. You can open it up. You can log in into your account and install apps that you want on your operating system. Of course, Android apps. So I'm hoping that this video was useful. As I've said, I showed you a method that I showed you before, but the method is a little bit changed and I think that it is way better now so as i've said you're going to have the links for the github in the article down below from the description and you can get that from there make sure to install the google play store and you can also try to play with different variants of google apps i'm hoping that this video was useful if it was don't forget to leave a like down below and also subscribe to the tech base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one i was emmanuel from tech base until next time have a nice day